Wait, 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 wait. They're all in on it. Generic intro in the deck goes. We're here back with another kill count. Today we're doing just one, but it's the newest Chucky movie with Cult of Chucky came out in 2017. I believe James took days off of work to get this video out within like a couple of days of it actually being released, which is just mind boggling for the level of quality than all the cuts and the editing that he had to deal with and probably copyright issues as well which is awesome i've been learning about the chucky series i never watching them didn't know they're called child's play until i started watching the kill count to check out my reaction to the last two which is seed of chucky and curse of chucky and i actually enjoyed curse of chucky quite a bit you can check my reaction to that i'll leave it right up there also link down below in the description and it's going to be in a place on my channel with all my other kill count reactions going to chronological order where i think i've only seen technically two of those which emesis blue and uh get out i have no idea what you're next is but it's going to be the next video patrons get that video a day early just get this video a day early as well as all my other videos for three dollars a month get you all of them a day early and it supports the channel so so much i do read our comments whether you're a patron or not whether you're subscribed or not but i hope you are subscribed to not miss future videos well, let's go ahead and jump into cult of chucky which came out oh uh, god 2017 that's almost seven years ago Oh, Welcome wow. to a kill count where we tally up the victims in all our nice favorite hair. horror movies. I'm James A. Janice, and today we're looking at the brand new movie. He got this Cult video out so fast. This week on DVD, Blu ray, That's video on insane. demand, and Netflix. Cult of Chucky is a direct sequel to Curse, picking up four years Do you think he recorded this before? It takes place primarily in the asylum, playing off the fact that nobody's likely to believe a committed person about a walking, talking doll. Despite its direct video release, the Maybe film's not. look is even more artistic and stylized than the sleek aesthetic of Curse. Cult is a confident step forward for the franchise bringing together what was the budget characters and ideas from previous she films tilly still in this in a chaotic blend that happily sets up another sequel at its conclusion and although the last there's gonna be another one is capital b bonkers most of it is a slow burn that's more reminiscent of the original child's play still, okay so we didn't record finally this come, time. they freaking deliver so let's see what's in store and get to them already so yeah no he did not the try to get this out of skyscraper restaurant that shot, much like the apartment that's building crazy. from child's play one fitting since the guy eating here is andy barkley again played by alex vincent from the first two movies he and his date are talking about his past since she went and oh no him up. you googled me nah man she used internet search and through it she learned about the whole crazy killer doll claim she says the whole situation uh -huh. is too much for her and leaves her loss dude really out on having probably the cutest kid she could ask for andy <laughs> takes his truck back to his that's Lincoln fair at home where he keeps a locker with enough arms to take over an oregon and wildlife refuge she's also got an ak-47 everywhere including a special one kept behind a framed kent academy sweater Turns uh, out i was right to not include chucky in the kill count for curse so take that internet commenters apparently wait a he's minute. been keeping chucky's head locked up and using it to practice his carpentry skills seems like they almost what? have a sort of mutual respect thing going on since andy lets chucky take a hit off that day but chucky's still a little fucky and what at andy's fingers to scare him adult andy uh, ain't having it though you want to play and his new oh, no. playtime involves a freaking blowtorch <laughs> one order of chuck brulee coming right up the that's credit awesome scene, Something. something straight out of an AMC show. With but then it's going to be, yeah, the, the, the girl. With Nico, That's crazy. Getting electroshock treatment and therapy. What do you Foley, mean? Who, over the past four years, has gotten her to accept that Chucky isn't real and that she was the one who murdered her whole family. What oh. I did was unforgivable. He says that because of her oh, progress, he's transferring her cool. to a medium security facility where she gets a blindingly white room set up by a nurse named Carlos. He's played enough, but says he's not a big Nika fan because of the whole, you know, mass murder thing. Nika explores the uh. rest of this clinically colorless locale and meets Yeah, no, it, this looks like something out of Stranger Things. Include Angela, still only seen season one of that. Be invisible to everyone else in the ward, although that's quickly disproven with a jump scare by a guy who introduces himself as Michael. Like Carlos, Michael is friendly to Nika. Dude, if like somebody Carlos, walks up to you, it is like, oh yeah, I'm a ghost. He's not too bothered to bang her in the stairwell. Get it, Nika? Dr. Foley holds a group session with the rest of the main inmates, like uh -huh. Claire, an angry firebrand who doesn't feel safe around Nika since all she ever did was light her house on fire. You always bring that up. And Madeline, Hopefully, a demure lady, there's not a whole lot of copyright issues with later on. When Nika explains her backstory to them and mentions her niece, Alice, Angela sits up and tells her that Chucky had given her a little ring-a-ding-ding -ding and left a message with her. He said to tell you he's coming for you. Sounds like a great time for Doc Foley. No, that does sound everyone that Nika's not right. a doll. So he whips out a good guy to show that she's cool. Hi, I'm Chucky. Why would you Madeline bring that here? Super into it, adopting the doll. He's my baby. And making sure he eats his din, -din at supper time. Also over dinner, Michael reintroduces himself as Mark. And Nika finds out that this guy has multiple personality disorder and oh. it's called multiple Malcolm. When Dr. Foley takes Nika to see a visitor, the audience gets a real Who's the visitor? of Jennifer Tilly, who brings a splash of color into the film as a femme fatale introduced as Alice's legal guardian, Valentine. And don't worry, the movie doesn't forget that Jennifer Tilly exists in this universe. Did anyone ever tell you you look exactly like Jennifer Tilly? Yeah, uh -huh. I get that a lot. The, because that the, is the, Jennifer Tilly's body, but it's Tiffany's soul. Since Tiffany's body, which also looks strikingly similar to Jennifer Tilly's, died in Bride of Chucky. 
Got that? Nika asks after Alex sure. and Tiffany don't mince words. She's dead, Miss Pierce. To really guilt trip the hell out of Nika, she says Alice died of a broken heart, but mentions that Alice wanted to bequeath the doll to Nika. Hi, I'm Chuck. Nika straight shook, meaning Jay Taylor's in the this... shop, but she makes her exit. Good luck. Come back soon, Jennifer. We love you. you just... Foley puts Chuck That's in a trap. Office, it's a trap. It's Chuck a trap. Escapes, and first person makes his way to a conveniently doll height drawer to steal a scalpel <laughs> behind Carlos, who's still hard at work. How long's your shift, bro? Oh, okay. He he's looking limp. for Nika's room, showing off the latest look of the doll and its movement until he's interrupted. He's actually by making him plan. Your first line in this movie has a whole complete Chucky doll, dude. What kind of killer fun you got for us? Where's Nika? Oh, that's okay. He gets uh, back to his smart ass self soon enough after Angela tells him he isn't real and is just a figment of her. He imagine. isn't real. Come with me. Ah, there's our boy. Chucky leaves Angela with the promise that she's next and goes to Nika's room. But when he gets so there, that he actually finds a smoke in her wheelchair and a pool of her blood on the ground. Turns out she used the metal to slit her wrist because she felt so guilty oh, about Elsa's death. It's oh, okay, Chucky. We can still pop oh, that one up as an assist if you want. But Chucky knows assists don't help his KD. So the next morning, Nika wakes up to find a message for her written in blood. Not too fast. What do you mean? Nice what do you? Work, Chucky. Charles Lee Ray paid attention in home act not everyone that's actually impressive life, though as um, and the rest of the people at the hospital find the body of angela in her bed her wrist cut open with nika's metal spoke giving us our first kill in the movie a whopping 31 minutes wait in. so Looks is like she Hulk saying is take that she slow. did it character inmates discuss angela's death in another group session with claire yelling that nika did it but fully insisting it wasn't her fault malcolm's the only one with the right idea oh, chucky what? did it so of course he gets yeah out no he's Madeline actually all the something good guy arrive and reveal that there are now two chuckies as they explain where the second doll came from nika realizes that valentine meant tiffany valentine Time. It was Charles Lee Ray's girlfriend. So now she starts thinking she knows. that she isn't crazy after all and that Chucky really is a bad guy. To prove it's just a doll, Foley takes a lighter to Chucky's hand. Oh, Foley he's not gonna like that. Melt his fingers into a little nasty good guy claw. Yeah, Plus no, now you're a target. And awesome and I freaking love her. She immediately realizes Chucky might have swapped places with Madeline's doll and wants to try him at the stake too. But the rest of the yeah, is done with this kangaroo court. Madeline goes for a walk. But is it actually him? Malcolm agrees to help find out what's going on while also revealing that would literally swap places. just Adam Herdig's impersonation of Jesse Eisenberg's impersonation of Mark Zuckerberg. I hacked into Dr. Foley's computer. It was ridiculous. No, that actually is true. Well, that sounds just, Ashley, just like him from the, door the social notes. network. Nika watches from the window as Chucky whispers sweet nothings into Madeline's ear and then flips Nika off. Rude fucking doll, man. Nika tries to warn Madeline what's up, but instead Madeline just tosses Chucky into an open grave. Wait, what? Why? To see what's going on, Maddie pushes him in as well. Why? Meanwhile, Claire grabs the Chucky doll from Foley's office and goes to throw it away, but gets bitten as she tries. But wait a minute, we just wait, saw Madeline. The other one. I guess stuff. there's two now of them. There's pretty strong evidence that this doll. Or was one Glenn or Glenda? Foley and Carlos just think she injured herself, so they take her away, strap her to a bed, and drug her up with downers. They leave at Nurse Ashley's request for help with Malcolm, and during an interesting, if not entirely uh, necessary, <sighs> split screen sequence, Nika watches as Malcolm helps Chucky out of the grave and then is pulled out of the grave himself. He turns and looks at Nika with a psychopathic Wh smile. Why? Beginning why? Beginning to get ideas of what the cult of Chucky might actually wait, be. Wait, Chucky wait, Claire wait, from the seat and pops wait. The bedside with a can of compressed They're air. all in on it. A little bit before slamming the canister into the ground, shooting it skyward to repeat that honeymoon waterbed kill from Bride of Chucky. But this one's oh, yeah. a lot cooler with a close-up on Claire's mean? eye shedding a single tear, a real nice slow motion shot okay, of the flash falling, and a full on decapitation to top things off. Way more Pardon? dramatic and intense than the more comical deaths of those hotel grifters, although Chucky's always willing to lighten the mood. Sometimes I scare myself. Somehow, one uh, of the murders uh, makes its way to Perez Hilton's website, and since Andy is a constant consumer Hilton. of celebrity gossip, who that is. he sees it. The messed up head finally lays out what's up in this movie. Yeah, you thought what? I was the only one? Andy takes out another Chucky doll, one with a Kent Academy haircut that would make Sergeant Botnick freaking cream himself. Why does he even have strength. it around? Back in the asylum, Nika's caught on to the twist in this movie. I think both dolls are alive somehow. So, yeah, there's multiple Chuckies. Holy shit, was that an incantation variation? I don't know how she <laughs> overheard that or whatever to justify that cutaway, but, the, but, but the she's lightning and thunder. She's not a murderer, and Chucky did it all. His response is to drug her and use a flashing light to hypnotize her so he can be real fucking creepy and sexually abuse her. Gross, dude. Can't wait for you to get murdered. For now, he just gets knocked Hopefully. out by Chucky, though. Oh, Even he that's can tell a how good nasty Foley. place to start. Can they call me sick? Chucky still takes advantage of Nika's dazed state in his own way, though, encouraging her to take a shard of broken glass and murder Foley with it so she can join the club. The screen fades to join the club happens, and then we there's no way down a hallway she crawls right into an image of alice who tells her they've been waiting for her and before you can say what the fuck man alice reverses away and there's a giant wavy chucky standing over Nico why and, uh, in what yeah, is the fever dream here sometime later also with the reflection of uh asks him what his name is today the human form it's charles 
Charles. Cool. What if he winds up naming Charles Barkley? That'd be fun. The movie jumps <laughs> another weird level. Wait, is that foreshadowing? Chucky to her room and breast feeds him. Guarantee Chucky talked her into that one. Or maybe not, because it seems like he hasn't fully come out to her yet. Oh, Chucky, she's your mom. She'll love you no matter what. Or suffocate <sighs> you with a pillow. Yeah, looks like Madeline's gonna do that instead, I guess. It's apparently Does the same matter? thing she did to her real life baby, as Dr. Foley reveals, and the reason she was committed in the first place. As Madeline gives her surrogate baby Why? a fearful apology, Nika interrupts her in an attempt to grab Chucky, but Dr. Folester stops her and says <laughs> it's time to bury the past. So they do. We get a good guy funeral and burial that Nika watches iPhone but from the window. He's on his way gonna to the hospital, get out. Andy gets a call from Tiffany or Jennifer or whatever. Uh -huh. Even I lose track. She asks him to join up in their ever growing call, but Andy's not into it. So How many people are in this? That night and is stopped by a security guard who tells him to go Why on his outside. Andy acts fast to get himself committed, punching the guard to wind up in a white tastic room of his own. What, there's no processing time but to get committed there? I guess Nika keeps vigil watching Chucky's grave. Until is she is that what Chucky wants, the though? Then she gets drugged from behind with a needle in her neck, so Dude, she misses stop it with grave Chucky goes full bar. Margaret White. So we've got two Chuckies running around now. Why not have a Just third? Just two? Yeah, no. One when Dr. Sex Abuser opens a box delivered to him and finds Buzz Cut Chucky Do they inside. not? It's time for the call party, everybody. Get ready. But first, let's deal with some Dude, does nobody like find this Madeline suspicious? Madeline allowed to have because she's on suicide watch. Nurse Ashley takes the laces away and tells Maddie she'll check on her every 15 minutes. When she leaves, Grave Chucky is waiting behind the door, and he manipulates Madeline until she's opening her arms for one final embrace. It's final because she's hiring Chucky as her own personal Kevorkian. Will it hurt? I'll do my best. Chucky proceeds to stick oh. his little plastic hand into Maddie's mouth. Sure, it's got some dirt on it, but at least but this isn't what? the same doll from what? Seed. You wouldn't want that good guy. No, you would not want that, no. Chucky finishes the job by going elbow deep and pulling out Madeline's... Shit, dog, what is that? A trachea? Is that what a trachea, trachea looks like? It's like a straight up spinal cord. I don't know, but it's gross and all kinds of awesome. Her death is made to look like a suicide with Chucky's detached How do you even out of her do mouth. that? Maddie's death is the breaking point for Nurse Ashley, who hands in her badge and her gun to Foley. He takes a Dark Knight stroll of the soul to his office. Is it under gun or and her gun? Jacket. He falls back on classic exploitive therapist motivation, saying he's going to write a book about Nika's situation. But I bet you he leaves out the is that part something where he they say? Her. Speaking of which, Dr. Ravenstein takes out some red shoes for Nika to wear, because I don't know, looks like he's into that, I guess. Thankfully, before he can act on his fetishes, Nika spits in his face and Chucky gets nice. an encore performance that knocks Harry out again. Again. Just can't. Guy. Now it's time for the movie's craziness to crack wide open, because one-armed Grave Chucky joins Nika uh, and Clawhand Chucky to tell so this is gonna interact with each other? in the house, but they should be careful because he got that crazy eye going on. They waste literally no time using their activation key on the third Chucky doll in the room. So they just keep adding to the group. The, game. the trio of Chucky's act like a vaudeville routine as Clawhand Chucky explains what's going on. A few years ago, I came across this groovy new spell on VoodooForDummies.com now. <laughs> I can be me and me and me. Then he tells Nika that he also inhabited Alice's body and used it to murder some people until someone fought back and killed her. Which is not only really fucking dark, but also explains the end of Curse. Turns out the incantation near Grandma's suffocation did actually work. This and is the Chucky mailed to Andy was the result of this soul splitting or whatever Ade Bogu so, spell. Carlos walks uh, in on all this crazy talk. There's the other one that's at Chuck's Andy's the head. Swarming. They stab him in the leg and then go crazy on him for our fourth kill. Drilling him and stabbing him some more and slicing that's him. That's a the terrible. Some gaseous intestinal. Oh. Oh. Buzzcut Chucky is having a great time. He'll be the first to tell you. I never felt so alive. Yeah, well, you've been alive for like two minutes. That's <laughs> true. At least they have different hairs, so you can like Chuckies tell them different. over who gets to go kill Andy until they agree to let Buzzcut Chucky do the honors on account of feeling bad about his shitty haircut. Outside, the guard from earlier finds a sexy red car idling, but when he looks inside the window, the only Tilly. thing he sees is a Tiffany doll sitting by her lonesome. Hey, guess what happens next? Yep, Tilly pulls another Bailey and slits his throat with a nail file. I'm old enough a to nail. remember Bride of Chucky. Yep. Tiffany admonished Chucky to be more creative. With his kills. I mean, Standard I just side, watched. Chucky well, I guess Nika, he had he's never doing planned these on killing her and instead like, goes into one last week. A return of rolling clouds means the shit really went through this time, and Nika suddenly stands up out of her wheelchair. I don't know how Chucky's huh? soul would fix whatever brain or spinal cord injury kept her from being able to walk, but you know what? Whatever. Foley comes to and sees Nika standing there, which must be really confusing, although I bet he's really into it when she starts groping herself. There's definitely perks to being supernaturally possessed. Chuck Nika walks over to Foley, tells uh, him this kill is for Nika, then proceeds to deliver what is probably the single goriest kill in this entire franchise, stopping his head to mush against the ground. With Holy heels. Shit. That is just gruesome, oh. man. On our way out the door, Chuck Nika oh. runs into Malcolm, who's really proud of himself for killing Nurse Ashley with a drill to the stomach. Not quite sure how that drill is staying up like that, kind of uh, defying physics there, uh, just but whatever. The Chuck Nika calls uh, out uh, Malcolm, saying he's not actually the one who killed Ashley, and calls him a poser. He drops to his knees in despair, perfect height for a doll to drill through 
I... the back of his freaking head. The drill comes out the front through the oh. eye. Another seriously gruesome kill coming in just two minutes after Nika's stomp a thon across Foley's face. Chuck Nika and Grave Chucky have a real good laugh together. It's always nice to see two people become such fast friends. Uh, Finally, Buzz yeah. Chucky goes to But what are they? Are they all gonna fight over it? Or do they enjoy leg, being? He bounces back and pins him up against the wall like literally anyone could have done throughout any of. Yeah, the no, movies. literally. Then he just digs his hand into Chucky's tum tum, disemboweling him and whipping out a gun and a callback. This is the end. Fucker. And he shoots Chucky in the head and confirms it's not. that he's the one who sent this doll to Dr. Foley in the first place. With a final Wait, fuck you from Chucky, did he know that this would happen? Andy enters Nika and crushes this Chucky's head until oh. it looks like a smashed crimson pumpkin. Man, if you think about it, Andy just killed like a one-hour-old being. Chuck Nika <laughs> is standing in the doorway and tells Andy if he shoots, he'll kill Nika too. And he goes for it oh, anyway. That's he not... forgot to press R earlier, and while he's he didn't reload his gun, Chuck Nika locks he him put in. put extra Chuck mags in there? He's left in his padded room as Grave Chucky plants the drill and takes his place as an unassuming doll in the asylum rec room. Chuck Nika comes outside to meet Tip and they have a passionate reunion. So this is different. Works for me. Yeah, I bet it works for you, <laughs> Tiffany, seeing as how Fiona Dorf looks just like her freaking dad, man. It's uncanny. Their victory laughs oh, are joined by the Tiffany doll in the back. Is her dad the... Maybe with Alice's soul, since they mentioned her right beforehand? Wait. I don't freaking know, man. The wait movie's over. What? We'll just have to wait for the next one for answers. But hold up, the Blu-ray and DVD version has a post credit sequence. In it, um, the captive Chucky head in Andy's cabin wakes up to the sound of a car pulling. And they knew that he was there. All dressed in black. Kyle? We're gonna have some fun. Oh, it's Kyle! He screams in anguish, and with that, the movie's over for real. It was definitely a slow burn, but it's still the, a the foster sister. How many exactly? From like what Let's the second movie? Get to the numbers. He's escaped. Oh, uh, there we go. Stop. Yeah, no. It's me. We knew it was gonna happen. He could just throw him, like you said. They could have always. Done. <laughs> Nine people died. Nice transition. Home, Chucky, which is plenty. Quit bitching that it wasn't enough, people. Of the victims, five were men. How long was the movie? Women, 87 minutes? split between genders. With a runtime of 91 minutes, Ooh. that comes out to a kill on average about every 10 minutes. Even though two thirds of them happened in the last 16 minutes of the movie. Oh, Fuck that's. You, Chucky. Golden Chainsaw for coolest kill. I don't know so who it's going to be. But I'm yeah. Gonna get to Dr. Foley's death when Nika put on her red shoes and danced the blues. It's so long. Yeah, well, yeah, he kind of. He wasn't outstanding. a good guy. Dull machete for lamest kill will go to Nurse Ashley. Off screen. Got killed off screen with a single drill bit to the stomach. And that's it. Cult of Chucky is the latest in the Child's Play series. Which When's the next one coming next out? Year. We're done with Chucky on the kill count for now, but I'm glad I did this because I truly I will get to the kill count eventually. Crazy series. I'm doing we're things in order. Oh, Chucky's back up. Starting with your next in a week. No Chuck idea what I'm your next is. is. I've never heard of it. Count. Thanks a lot for watching the kill count for Cult of Chucky and all of these Chucky movies. He worked really hard Jacob to get this video Tony out. And Stephanie and Christopher Leffler. What's up, guys? I also want to thank Blondie Boy who donated the money this... to cover this Chucky doll that I've been using to great effect throughout these videos. Buddy. No, he literally has. I'll be announcing the schedule for the kill count for the rest of the year. Anything left to say? Oh, Chucky, he, fuck you very much, Chucky. That's funny. So that was Cult of Chucky. So now we are completely caught up with the Chucky movies, the Child's Play Chucky movies. I have no idea what your next is. I've never seen The Mist, but I know the ending. I think I did a Nostalgia Critics video on it. Trick or Treat, never heard of that one either. Uh, Alien, haven't seen any of those. Thanks Killing, 2007, haven't seen that. Alien Resurrection, haven't seen that. Jack Frost, Black Christmas, Crant literally... I have not seen any of the thing. There's a... Oh, I don't know if I should cover that. I've seen Nostalgia Critics It videos. Uh, Nightmare on L Stream, just Nostalgia Critics. There's so many things coming. There's so many things coming that I have never seen. I don't watch scary movies. I don't like watching scary movies. So, we have quite a long time to go of me seeing content I've never seen before. And counting the kills with James A. Janice. I look forward to the next one. Patrons get a day early. I should be live streaming some Undertale today. I'm doing the uh, the G run. And I'm fighting the toughest boss in the game. Which is, I think, the final boss in the game. Yeah, I'll be streaming that at 5 o'clock today. It's really, really rough. It'll be my greatest gaming accomplishment, though, if I pull it off. But until the next video, I hope you're subscribed. But until then, take care. And keep the music. We were playing an asshole